Hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching Frutex so yesterday we got the new update for the Indian and European region Nord 2 which has some bug fixes, performance improvement and the security patch update. Non-rooted users can directly download the update and flash it but the rooted users need to download the update then you have to flash it in a TWRP. I have given the link for that update under the video description. You can download that and manually flash that update in a TWRP. I will show you the complete process how to flash it. Also, we will see what's new thing we got in this update. We have created some Nord 2 custom JSR ROMs videos and routing tutorial. If you are interested in that, then check them under the video description. So without wasting any time, let's get started. On a new adventure. <laughs> So first download the vmata image boot image file and the update zip file. If you already downloaded the update you can locate that inside the data and the OTA folder inside the TWRP also. Now if you are rooted then just download the advanced reboot type click reboot to recovery. You can also use the adb command first connect phone to the pc then type in a cmd window adb devices enter and then type adb reboot to recovery. Phone will reboot to the recovery now inside the recovery click install then click install image. We will see the boot image and vvmeta image. First select the boot image, now select the boot partition and slide to install. Now go back again click install and locate the update zip file and slide to flash. Now go back again click install, now select the install image, now select vvmeta image file, now select the vvmeta partition and slide to install. That's it. Now go reboot to the system. So let's check the about phone inside the settings. There we will see we are updated to the v13 new update. Who gets the new security patch of November 2021? It's surprising that the European region got the V12 update with the October 2021 patch. So it's a good news for the Indian users. As per the system update change log, now the system is more power efficient, means the battery life got improved again. But to check that, we need to wait for the 2 4 battery cycles. Then I will report back here. Next improvement we got is the optimized backend management to offer the better gaming experience means the gaming apps will run smoother and more power efficient. Now BJMI will support 90fps gaming with the Ultra HD graphics. This update improves the stability and fixes the known issues that we previously faced on the V11 update. Another improvement we will see in the network optimizations like the optimized home Wi-Fi and the VLT experience and the optimized network connection stability. So this is not the big incremental update but still it's worth for the better battery and the gaming performance of the ROM with the stable network connection for the video calling on the LTE and the Wi-Fi calling. So rooted and non-rooted users hurry and install this update from the link given in the video description if you still didn't got it. So that's it for today guys. If you think who help you please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get all the new ROMs and update videos for the Nord 2. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye. See you next time.